Gary, what do you got lined up today? Right. So we've had some questions, and one of them landed right in my backyard. It's how hard would you have to kick a soccer ball, or if you want a football, to get it into orbit? Yeah, now, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. People okay. dream. People dream in superpowers on this one, aren't they? Just okay. so now, just so as you just so as you understand, here on planet Earth, the highest recorded kick in the professional game. And this might surprise people, 131 miles per hour. Okay, I so, didn't see that coming. I didn't see oh that man. one. Neither yeah, did the goalkeeper. So, yeah. Gone <laughs> and, and, in an and instant. Who, and, 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 and who did it kill? That, no, no. Uh, <laughs> nobody. This, this record it is only- It was like a bowling ball, knocked everybody down. Yeah, you, in you front know, of no net. surprise. This is a Brazilian guy called Ronnie Heberson. And he's, he's done it a couple of times. He wasn't a one and done on this- uh, this sort of speed, so he's uh, he's got previous for it. So it's uh, it's interesting that the design of the new balls has enabled them to travel faster, which is speeding the game up. Which is exactly what everyone was after. What I wonder is, because uh, I don't study soccer balls, I know it's a big deal, you know, mm -hmm. before every yeah, every yeah. World Cup. But the the amount that the ball compresses, so that when it's coming off your foot, there's not only the speed of your foot that's translated to the ball, there's the recoil of the ball off your toe yeah. for you having compressed it. Yeah, right? there's the, def the deformation and then- The deformation, but it's not just a deformation because you can deform yeah. something that doesn't bounce back and then right. it's no good, right? Yeah. It's got, it's got to have that sort of- That's, a temper wanna... that's the Tempur-Pedic ball. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Memory. Oh. Memory yeah. ball. It's, it's the That'd most be a slow, really soccer. slow game. Yeah, slow, <laughs> slow game. <laughs> <laughs> very comfortable, very comfortable slow game. It wraps your toes. Yeah, and yeah. Toes don't to want to... <laughs> yeah exactly. But no, it's it's interesting because you, you're now starting to roll this out. Is it an American football you want to kick into orbit? Do you want to go away from inflated balls and then get, you know, what, what's it going to take to get a baseball into space, a golf ball into space? You know, where does your mind take you as to the sort of projectile aspect of it? But I was surprised because I didn't think the top speed of a soccer ball would be anywhere near 130 miles yeah, an hour. Yeah, neither so. did I. Plus, when yeah. I played Little League, and I have to think about why this is true, but I could always hit a, a Spalding pink ball way farther than a baseball. Right. And that's obviously an air-filled ball that re, uh, responds quickly. But I also unraveled a baseball. Have you ever done that? Maybe not. Not you, Gary. Not being no, a, not lately. Yeah, not you know American. But, yes. but Chuck, have you ever done that? Yeah, by mistake, I uh, I hit one so oh, hard. No. Oh, oh, you know, oh. I think they call it tearing the cover <laughs> off the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what they refer to it as. <laughs> you know. then, you, then you woke up, and then what happened? Yeah, this, this sounds an awful lot like a Robert Redford movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw that movie. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, so you so you unstitch it and remove the leather, and then there's basically rubber bands that mm. are just it's a continuous sort of rubber, it's like rubber bands, and yep. you keep doing that, and then there's this like String. little, yeah, it's basically stringy rubber, and yeah. then there's a little pink ball. Well, last I did this, I don't know if it's different today. Little pink ball, and my pink ball had liquid in it, and I thought. What? Why? Mm. What? What's up with that? It's like the size of a marble, a little bigger than a marble. Little in the mini planet. A little, little, yeah, little yeah, magma. Yeah, yeah, right yeah, the same yeah, size. <laughs> it is. It's the. It's the core. It's the core. It's the core of the baseball. Yes. Okay. So here's the thing. Yeah. So you want to know a cool fact? Please. It's a cool, stupid, geeky fact. All right. Um, the escape velocity for any object. So for Earth, it's. It's uh, seven miles per second. Okay. Okay. That's, that's a lot more than 131 a... miles per hour. By yeah. the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he ain't kicking yeah. in an orbit. Here. Yeah. I was going to say, maybe <laughs> Superman could kick a ball that hard. Okay. You know? So here's, here's, oh, by the way, so it's not a matter of strength. Okay. It's a matter mm -hmm. of speed of your foot. So Superman is strong, but is he fast? Now he can yeah, catch a speeding no. bullet. He can catch yeah. a bullet, I guess. Exactly. That's he's pretty very fast. fast. Okay. Yeah, he's not okay. flash. Just... He's not flash fast, but he's no, no, he's not. He's right, probably right. the second thing after flash, fastest. And thing he has, after has flash. super 
super everything that's human, which we once discussed, Chuck. We discussed his flatulence. That yes. We concluded he must also have super flatulence. That's you right. have to dig that one out, out of our archives. That's on that's on yeah. YouTube. Yes. So super super <laughs> flatulence. By the way, he's not. he wouldn't be the only one. No! No! <laughs> Okay, so... Not that I'm bragging. Here's here's an interesting fact. So you take the escape velocity for a planet, okay? Yeah. And divide it by the square root of two, Mm -hmm. and that's the speed you need to get into orbit. Oh. Okay. It's kind of a cool fact. So, okay. Okay. So uh, so what is seven divided by square root of two? I'll do that right now. Mm -hmm. Please do. Mm -hmm. Seven divided by square root of two. You get five. So the space station and the space shuttle and Elon Musk and all these folks mm-hmm. orbit the Earth at five miles per second. Right. So that's lower than the escape velocity, obviously, because you're still in orbit. But escape velocity and orbital speed, low orbital speed, are precisely related by that formula. In fact, the derivation of that was on my general exam for graduate school. Oh, wow. So you, you can derive how and why that's true. It, uh, it's straightforward, but you have to know that that's a thing, all right, mm-hmm. and then figure out how to do it. Anyhow, 130 miles an hour, it ain't, it ain't happening on Earth. So it's, where is it going to happen? Where can, so I take my ball and I go off, off world. Okay. And, I'm, you know, where, where am I going to go to get myself my jollies about kicking the ball <laughs> into <laughs> deep yeah. space? Okay, so so Mars is not going to work, okay? Oh, okay. That, uh, that you're not fast enough for no, Mars. You're not right. even fast enough for Pluto. How about, okay. Crushing wow. my dreams here, Neil. Uh, you're not fast enough even for uh, the largest asteroid is wow. Ceres. In fact, Ceres, Ceres is so large. C-E-R-E-S. That's right. From the root of yeah, yeah. cereal comes from that, by the way. Um, mm. Ceres was the goddess of harvest, I think. One of these right. farm goddesses. Uh, Ceres is so large as an asteroid Mm-hmm. that its own gravity shaped it into a sphere. Oh. And after the Pluto debacle, what oh, happened- we're not going was, there again, are we? No, mm. we're not. But okay. round things too small to be planets are called um, dwarf planets. Pluto got mm-hmm. demoted from planet to dwarf planet status. And Ceres, which was in the ranks of asteroids, got promoted from asteroid to dwarf planet. Right. Mm-hmm. So on Pluto and Ceres, the escape velocity is about, what do we get? About a third of a mile an hour. I can do that. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Mile per second. Excuse me. Third of mm-hmm. a mile per second? Yeah, you ain't getting, you're not doing no, it. No, right. not happening. That's nowhere. You're wow. not happening. Right, right. So, that's, that's, yeah, so yeah, that's, and, that's, these are big that's, objects. These are, you know, yeah. they're, they're, they're hundreds of miles across, these objects. Okay? Yes. Uh, so the question is, what size object uh, can we satisfy Gary's Superman urges? So let's look at big comets. So Ooh. Halley's Comet, not as big as they come, but it's, you know, we've all heard of it and it's visible. Yeah. Okay. That one, uh, it's like half a mile an hour. Oh. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we, we could do that. Oh, no, but how- then you, how are you going to play the game at all? Oh no! Okay. We'll be, I'm going to take like some a, chums. I'm going to get some chums. Well, we're all going to go chase, up, and right? we're going to kick you, you, you balls from one asteroid to another. Oh, oh, right. oh right. yeah! I you see. Better just, just don't chase after the ball. No, it's been <laughs> like asteroid. It'd be like golf. We're going to land it on another asteroid. Oh, okay, as it's okay. Going and then, along. but then you, okay. So we can all run a mile, at least one mile per hour. Mm-hmm. So you, if you run too fast, you can, you can jump yourself into orbit and to yeah. escape velocity. So you're right, uh, Gary. You'd have to get a configuration of asteroids and comets. Yeah. And again, all of these are ten, you know, two dozen miles across around there. Um, practically anything we throw as humans or kick would would achieve escape velocity. So we need so to yeah. wait for one of those meteor showers. We're we gonna get any joy out of that. Uh, why? Because they persids. We can. We can kick oh no, between. the meteor showers are tiny. Are they? like the size okay. of peas. No, no, those aren't as, no, no, no. If, excuse me, Mm -hmm. excuse me, the comets we're talking about at 10, 20 miles across, the, 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 the asteroid that took out the dinosaurs was six miles across. Right. Yeah. 
Okay, you don't want these. This is not what's falling in a meteor shower. Yeah. If comets and asteroids, not even large, Bruce Willis could help us. Exactly. Oh, dear. This, if they were what were falling in a meteor shower, that's the end of all life on Earth. Yeah. <sighs> let's not yes. do that. Yeah, let's not do that. Right. So, uh, yeah, but, it's but, so. But it make for one hell of a soccer game. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it just? <laughs> So going from a few dozen miles up to like a few hundred miles is a very big difference in escape velocity yeah. for mm -hmm. us. And you're right, Superman could do it at all times. Oh, and by the way, that old adage, uh, what goes up must come down, you know, that mm -hmm. grandma said yeah, or everybody yeah, yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. That's only true if what you throw up it does not achieve escape velocity. If it goes higher than seven miles per second on Earth, it will never come back to Earth. Wow. It'll stay in the solar system but it'll never come back to Earth. Now, if you wanted to leave the solar system, what you do is you say, what's Earth's speed at our, dis orbital speed at our mm -hmm. distance from the sun? Right. Okay, if I take that speed, which is 30 kilometers a second, okay, mm -hmm. about 18 miles per second, multiplied by the square root of two, right. I'll get the escape velocity from the sun at Earth's location. Ah, so it, mm. it works beautifully this way. So yeah. if you want, if you want to throw something that not only never comes back to Earth, but just but leaves the solar system, leaves the solar system. You take the thirty kilometers a second multiplied by square root of two, which is one point four. So that's it's like four hundred. It's like four. What is it? Um, thirty. Uh, one point four forty five kilometers per second. That comes out to be about thirty miles per second. So if you get to 30 miles per second, like straight out, it's gone. You're gone. You're gone. So wow. we're going to need that equation, that, that's mathematics, <laughs> when, you, we, when we decide yeah. that we're going to bug out of this particular oh, you have solar plans. system and go, yeah, we, we, of course we have plans. <laughs> so that's, all I, that's the only way I can help you here, Gary. Right. No, it, that's cool. Because it's <laughs> we are not physically able to achieve this. Correct. Thank God. But, thank God. <laughs> Because it's yeah. the worst damn soccer game you've ever seen. You know, Everybody gets, gets angry and they kick yeah, it into kick orbit. The ball and it's just, there you go. It's you, gone. Imagine, <laughs> you go yeah, home. That's it. You, you go home and your father's sitting there and said, Well, where's your ball? Well, John kicked it into space. The bully, the soccer bully. <laughs> you go and get that ball right now. <laughs> I haven't spent my life. <laughs> it would just be chaos. Oh, here's and, an interesting fact. Yeah. Um, if you, okay, if you don't achieve escape velocity, Right. The ball will want to return to the spot where you kicked it in an in a orbit. The problem okay. is, Earth is in the way. Yes. So if you shrunk Earth down to a point, but you still floated up there and kicked the ball, mm -hmm. and you didn't quite achieve escape velocity, it will make this huge elongated orbit come around and then hit you upside the back of the head. But right now, Earth is in the way. It's going to hit Earth on the other side of the Earth. So the uh, f interesting thing about orbits, the point you launch it mm -hmm. is a permanent spot of the orbital path of the object itself. Mm. Basically, a boomerang. Sockerang. Yeah, sockerang. Sockerang. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah and, f and an hour and a half later, it'll hit you right upside the back of the head. Now that right, right there is a great prank where yeah. you kick the ball and then you just go, stand right there, don't move. <laughs> Just wait, just wait for it. Wait for it, bro. I Gary, that's all the time we have here. I hope I helped you out there. You did. Thank you, Neil. Okay, excellent. This has been a Star Talk Sports Edition Explainer. Neil deGrasse Tyson here as always. Keep looking up. <laughs>